continue honoring black history tonight. We're introducing you to an Alexandria man using artwork to help communities in need across the world. DC News Now's Liberty Zabala shows us how he's using art to, in finding it in the most unlikely places. Gabriel Williams's home in Alexandria is basically an art gallery, an ode to his travels all over the world. I've been an artist my entire life. Through my travels, I noticed that I had a responsibility because I was able to see people who lived in poverty and abject conditions much different than what we're experiencing here in America. His home also serves as storage for supplies for his nonprofit dedicated to helping impoverished communities far, far away. As a refugee, actually, that's something that actually facing us. We're a lot of frustration and some are a lot of stress. Gabriel's first project was in Kenya, where he delivered art supplies and held art workshops for refugees fleeing war. These are people who literally had to run through the bush to escape gunfire. People who've lost their mother and father in front of their eyes, but still are standing up on their own two feet. The artwork he would later sell to raise funds for the refugees. I feel like the best art sometimes comes out of dark places. His next project was in Thailand, where he used art to help exploited and abused children heal. Our aim and our goal of that exercise was to do was allow kids to be kids and allow them to also have a means to express themselves, express how they feel and put a mask uh, where they can smile and be happy because a lot of them are carrying the weight of their trauma. Another project led him to Tanzania, where he met villagers without access to clean water. There were no water to drink. Even the children getting malnutrition because there were no water to, for them to drink or for cooking. The problem was that in order for them to get water, the women would have to walk at least 10 miles going and 10 miles coming back. So that's anywhere between 15 to 20 miles just for one trip of water. So Paint the Globe Foundation built a system to provide clean water to a village of 5,000. Our greetings to the Painting Global Foundation workers. The Friends of the United States who donated for us to get this water. You, Mr. Gabriel, and we really, really, really pray for the Global Foundation for what they did for us. We have a responsibility to provide resources to them, to provide them opportunity, and whatever is in our capacity to make a difference. He is constantly gathering art supplies and donations for his next global project. He is now working to get financial support to build a visionary art center in Rwanda, continuing his mission to use art to help change the world. We do have the ability to touch people here and far. So we're literally painting the globe metaphorically and literally. Liberty Zabala, DC News Now.